Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 9. This is Problem 9. It says water runs from a pump at a rate of 2.5 gallons per minute. At this rate, how long will it take to fill a tub that has a 250 gallon capacity? So, the pump is pumping two and a half gallons every minute. So one minute you get two and a half gallons, and two minutes, five gallons, three minutes, seven and a half gallons. So basically it's the number of minutes times that rate that it pumps. So in 10 minutes, you'd get 10 minutes of pumping time with two and a half gallons for each minute. You would get 25 gallons pumped into the tub in 10 minutes. So in 100 minutes, it'd be 100 times 2.5. Now to multiply this, what I'm doing, I'm getting these multiplications pretty quick. The number of zeros when you multiply is how many positions you move the decimal. So when I did times 10, one zero, I moved it one spot. Times 100, and that only works from the first digit, so one. So times 100, two zeros, you move it two places. So you move it one place and it goes to the right of the five and you have to move it another place. There is no place, but you can move it and fill it in with a zero. So it's 25 with a zero after, which is 250. That's the size of the tub. So it's B. Now, just out of curiosity, how, how much water are you going to pump in 1,000 minutes? Well, 1,000 minutes times 2.5 for each of those minutes. You would move your decimal, three, three zeros in the 1,000. So three places, you move it one, two, three. So it's 25. You had two more after, two zeros. 2,500 gallons, you pump a lot. And then the 25, 25 minutes times 2.5 each minute, that's probably something you'd want to do on a calculator. I mean, you could do any of these on a calculator, but it comes out to 62 and a half gallons. So the question says the tub has a 250 gallon capacity. You get 250 gallons of water if the pump runs for 100 minutes. So the answer to problem nine is option B.